Hey, I'm back. Recently I saw this video about a non-Euclidean uh, game, or game engine, I don't know. And it was really cool and I really recommend you to see it, the link will be in the description. But in his video, there were one part that I didn't like, which is this part. ...depending on if it's occluded or not, from each perspective. I originally was trying to do this in Unity, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible without lower level access to the rendering. Even the scriptable pipeline didn't work for me. So, I was forced to create my own rendering engine in OpenGL. And no one, and I say, no one, nobody in this hurt, say something bad about Unity. Okay? Okay, actually you can't, I, uh, don't worry. But I'm here to prove him wrong, and you'll see how much it's easy to make something like this on Unity. First, uh, let's check how it works. As you can see here, I made two tunnels like in his video. So there is the small tunnel, but when you see it from the inside, it appears long. Same for the long tunnel, which appears short from the inside. Now, like in his video, I made this, and do I really need to explain? So how does it work? Here, well, he already explained it in, in his video, but I'll also do it since, well, um, the watch time will be really short <laughs> if I don't explain it. So first, uh, on the enter and the, ex the, and the exit of each tunnel, I made a plane, um, which is just a surface with only one, uh, one face. And the other side you see nothing, it's like transparent. Then on this plane I apply a material that links to a camera that moves with the player camera. Then using Bretsky, uh, Brecky's shaders on his uh, portal video, the link will be in the description, um, it cut all the part that we don't need, so the resolution will be good and uh, all the part that shouldn't be showed in the portal will, will not be showed. And uh, there you go. You just need to do the same eight more time and you got it. So I did all this in Unity without touching to the rendering itself, but only with simple properties of it. Well, and you might be surprised, but the most difficult part of oh, this whole project was only the teleporting, and it's still not perfect since making smooth teleporting is really hard. And when I say really hard, I mean. It's not like teleporting, like uh, using position and all that stuff. It's like, it seems really easy at the first place, but try it and uh, you'll see. So, and by the way, I also use the uh, the legacy render pipeline, which is the base pipeline, not the HDRP or the uh, UDP. So I hope you like this really short video. I hope, uh, yeah, it was really short and not really uh, big since I, you know, I got a burnout and I need to get back uh, little by little. So, um, well, goodbye, and uh, see you next time.